In the last segment, we touched on these interlock devices that are ordered by the court in some cases after certain types of convictions, and you explained what that was. Let's recap what it was, but my other question is, is this uh, something that costs your client a lot of money to, to install or to maintain? Yeah, an interlock is a machine that's manufactured by Monotech. It's a specific device, and Monotech has the monopoly on it, and it's all regulated by statute. And they actually have a microchip in the machine, so each time you blow on it, it records whether or not there's alcohol in your breath. It also records what time you're blowing on it because I've seen violations where somebody tried to start their car at 2 in the morning. Well, their driving privileges didn't allow them to drive at 2 in the morning, and they try and use that monotech evidence against them at a hearing later saying they violated their privileges. So it, it's, it gets complicated, but the machine gets installed. Uh, currently, they're charging a $200 installation fee, and then it costs, I believe, $50 a month. That's a rough idea. So it, it'll cost you another chunk of money if you end up with this interlock device. We talked about the interlock device and let's say I have one and I paid for it to be installed but then I come to you and say oh Clark I forgot to mention that part of my job is that I have to drive my employer's van for some reason. Now does the device have to go in the employer's van or I'm confused? North Carolina does allow an exception if you're driving a corporately owned vehicle uh, that you can it has to be listed into the privilege, the exact vehicle you're driving, but if you do drive a corporate vehicle for work-related purposes, you do not have to have the interlock installed on that. Now, what I've seen some people try and do is take a company car or, or move their car into their company like a construction company and then drive that car all year long without the interlock. The problem is you still have to have the interlock installed on some vehicle for one full year before you can ever get your driving privileges back. Because as you said, that's all very closely monitored. Yes. All right, now coming up, we're going to backtrack a little bit. We've talked about what happens when you refuse to take certain sobriety tests, but we want to put those in a little bit different context, and uh, we'll do that in this next segment.